Okay, here we're starting to look at a uh, manual ranging digital meter. Now, I don't especially advocate this thing because uh, this is kind of the $2 uh, Harbor Freight thing, but uh, it does have all the ranges on it. And you've got this dial here, and the dial is used just to put it in the position you want. Where the arrow goes is the position you want. So like if you were positioned here, you'd be in DC volts. And you can go from 200 millivolts up to 1,000 uh, up here at the top. And if you were going to check voltage on something, and let's say it was a 12-volt battery you're going to check, you'd put it on 20. That's higher than you expect a battery to be. So you should not have a problem with... Uh, putting a meter beyond the range. Uh, sometimes you'll blow a fuse or burn them up if you do. Uh, AC volts here again 750 and 200 if you had a 120 volt circuit you'd put it on 200 or 240 you put it on 750. DC amps right over there that is going to go from 200 microamps up to 200 milliamps. Okay, though all those ranges are in there for small amp draws. Now this is a this meter will read amps, but it's called inline amps. And that means that the power actually has to go through the leads into the meter. Okay, what that means is the power actually has to go through the leads into the meter, come back out the meter and then the meter can measure it. And it's for very small amperage loads. Uh, the highest one we have is 10 amps. And if we put the common in the common, common always stays in the common, then we've got three little doohickeys here. we got V for volts, we got the thing that looks like a little light bulb, that is ohms or resistance, and the other one is MA, means milliamps. And so it's going to read uh, just milliamps. If we're going to 10, we're going to take this one and put it up here, and there's a special circuit for it. Over here, we have our ohms, 2 million, 200,000, 20, and so on, uh, down to 200. And you'd put it uh, in the ohms, you'd put it in a range that works, that you expect it to be in. Uh, the ohms part of this thing actually operates on a battery inside. The battery provides a voltage source, and then the leads are put uh, on whatever you're testing, and uh, it'll read the resistance of it. Now I'm going to set this up in uh, the uh, 10 amp circuit, and we'll see how this thing actually works. Okay, now we're set up with a 9-volt battery here. We've got a little relay that we're testing. And you can see I've got the red lead hooked to one side of this relay coil. And I've got the black lead coming from the meter going to the battery. So I'm putting this in line. So when I put this jumper on here, you can see I'm reading an amp draw here. Now it's minus because I got it hooked up backwards. But it will read the amp draw but it has to go through the meter. This is a little convoluted and in some cases it's the only way to do it. Uh, if you're reading DC there are meters that will read DC without putting them in line and we'll talk about them later. But uh, for the most part we're using AC and we can use clamp meters for this rather than putting it in a line like that. So that is pretty much these uh, little manual ranging. Manual ranging is for the most part gone. Now it's still there. There's some places where they're useful. The meters are cheap uh, but the auto ranging are getting cheaper all the time. And I think you're going to find that the auto ranging are going to take over in almost all of it. And it's much, much easier to use. 
and that is the manual ranging multimeter.